Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. We've got several meteor showers in December and early January. This year, a waning crescent moon won't interfere with the Geminid meteors. They are often bright and colorful. The 2025 Geminid meteor shower, one of the year's best showers, will peak overnight on December 13-14th. The Geminids are plentiful under a dark sky, and you might catch up to 120 meteors per hour. They are also visible, but at lower rates from the southern hemisphere. The radiant, the point in the sky from which meteors seem to originate, rises in mid-evening and is highest in the sky at 2 a.m. So you can even watch for meteors before bedtime, and you can't miss bright Jupiter nearby. Plus, in the early evening, when the constellation Gemini sets close to the eastern horizon, you might catch an Earth grazer, a slow-moving, long-lasting meteor that travels horizontally across the sky. Most meteor showers originate from debris left behind in space by a comet as it orbits the Sun, but the Geminid meteors originate from debris left behind by an asteroid called 3200 Phaethon. After the Geminids come the Ursids. The best time to view them is a few hours before sunrise on the morning of December 22nd. The skies will be dark since it's two days after the new moon. Under ideal conditions, the Ursids offer about 5 to 10 meteors per hour. Occasionally, the Ursids have an outburst of over 100 meteors per hour, so it's always worth bundling up to watch for them on a cold December night. Ursid meteors radiate from near the bowl of the far northern Little Dipper asterism, so the shower's radiant point stays up all night from many northerly locations. Then start off 2026 with the Quadrantid meteor shower. Watch late at night on January 3rd through dawn on the morning of January 4th. They're around the time of the full moon, so moonlight will block out all but the brightest meteors. The quadrantid's radiant rises after midnight. It's highest in the sky before dawn. The radiant is near the famous Big Dipper, so it's also a far northern meteor shower. Under ideal conditions, the quadrantids can briefly produce over 100 meteors per hour, but their peak lasts only a few hours. In spite of the moonlight, many quadrantids are really bright meteors known as fireballs and will be visible in moonlight. Tips for watching meteor showers. Find a dark spot to observe. Scan the entire sky. No need to watch the radiant. If the moon is out, block it out with a tree, car, or building. Take a blanket, lawn chair, warm drinks, and snacks. Put away electronics to save your night vision. Relax and enjoy the show. I hope you enjoy watching meteor showers as much as I do. Until next time, one earth, one sky, earth sky.